now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Our incredibly warm start to January, that's coming to an end. Colder, more seasonable air is building back into the Susquehanna Valley. And thanks to some strong upper level energy, we have mostly cloudy skies. We're going to keep those around through the day today. Still may see a sprinkle or a flurry as we head through the afternoon. Right now, 44 degrees in Hershey, but feels like it's just 37 thanks to that brisk breeze out of the northwest. We're drying out across the valley, but you can see just perhaps some sprinkles or some flurries reaching the ground right now in parts of Mifflin County. We do have some upper level energy rotating on the back side of the storm system that brought the showers through the day yesterday and early this morning. So as we head through the day, gloomy out there, partly sunny, breezy, but cooler. Temperatures only peak in the mid to upper 40s today. That's about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. For tonight, these clouds will slow down. The cooling process will drop to the low to mid 30s and then for the start of your weekend it looks like it is going to be a dry day mostly cloudy skies but it will be brisk seasonal with highs in the low to mid 40s throughout the afternoon it's going to feel like it's in the upper 30s to lower 40s winds are in earnest right now strong breeze currently in Lancaster 21 miles per hour 14 miles per hour in Carlisle big change compared to yesterday 13 degrees cooler in Harrisburg 11 degrees cooler in Lancaster 12 degrees cooler in York right now it's 45 in York and currently 46 six in Lancaster. As we zoom on out, you can see that cold air building across the high plains and back over the Rockies. There are a series of storms we are watching. There goes the storm that brought the showers yesterday and early this morning. Here's the storm system that's just starting to form right now over the Red River Valley. That's likely going to bring us possibly some light snow late Sunday and then early Monday as a wintry mix and then another powerful storm system that's going to impact the Pacific Northwest and California with that heavy rain that will get here late next week. So let's take hour by hour here on the predictor. Notice the passing clouds. We do get some breaks in the clouds at times, so you have the opportunity to see the full moon as it will be out there at times, but we'll cloud back over as we head through tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. It's on into Sunday. We'll be watching a storm system approach from the south and some colder air will be in place as the system arrives, so it does look likely we could see some very light snow Sunday evening and then it switches over to a winter mix. Here we are at 6 a.m. on Monday on the European model. You can see that wind mix out there and then it pushes out of the region heading into Monday afternoon. So more seasonable out there. Temperatures hovering in the low to mid 40s throughout most of the week ahead. We'll keep an eye on that weak storm system that could put down very light coating at best for Sunday evening into early Monday. And then we're tracking another storm system that will approach to region as we head into next week and with highs holding close to average near 40.